Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I will cover the next topic, um, which uh, the topic for today is gyroscope. Okay, so do you know what is gyroscope? Gyroscope is a uh, rotating body, mass or wheel. When it spins, it has the ability to maintain to its state uh, in a constant attitude. Easier, way, easier, easier way to see the application of the gyroscope uh, is uh, bicycle. Okay. Or we can see um, the earth. Okay. The earth uh, rotates, so it can consider as a gyro. So gyroscope is a any rotating mass okay, uh, having uh, gyroscopic property produce a special special effect that it does not have if it is stationary. Okay, uh, this is the application. Include the spinning cord, bicycle wheel, helicopter rotor blade, and any mass that rotates. Okay, but we are more concerned on aircraft application. Normally, you can see gyroscope inside the attitude indicator, heading indicator, and also the turn and bank indicator. So, what is attitude indicator? Attitude indicator normally uh, is, uh, is an indicator that provide a pitch. Okay, means nose up and nose down indication and also rolling indication roll to the left and also roll to the right and uh, we have heading indicator so inside this heading indicator also we have gyro okay, uh, so heading indicator will provide uh, aircraft heading means nose aircraft nose pointing to right uh, direction and also the turn and back indicator provide aircraft turn okay normally aircraft uh, turn uh, when aircraft turn, it's not like car, aircraft when turn, it must bank a little bit. So, this one provides turn and also the condition okay, of the bank. Whether the aircraft when turn, uh, having proper bank or uh, skip and also slip. Yeah? So, gyro. Eh? If we open up the gyro, what we can see is the roto. This is roto. Eh? This is roto and inner gimbal. Okay. Attached to the spin axis of the uh, rotor is the inner gimbal and the outer gimbal. Okay. This is the main component of the gyro. Okay. Uh, and then you must know the uh, characteristic or the property of the gyro. So this gyro having two very important properties. Eh? Rigidity and precession. What is rigidity? Okay. Rigidity is the ability of a gyro to maintain to a fixed position during spinning irrespective of any forces acting on it. Okay. So, all the gyro, free gyro, any gyro is designed to have a rigidity. So, this rigidity also depends on the three factors. The mass of the rotor, the speed of the rotor and the distance at which the mass at from the center or normally we call it a radius of gyration. Precession, eh? next property, eh? rigidity and also precession. Precession is the movement gyro away. Okay? The previous one, uh, rigidity, ability to maintain to fixed position, but the precession is movement gyro away from its fixed position or data due to friction of force. It means that when you have a gyro that rotates, so this gyro uh, having its rigidity. So when I apply a force here, okay, this gyro will tend to Precess. But uh, you must remember precession of the movement of the gy this gyro is not uh, in line with the force being applied but it always acts 90 degree in the direction of rotation. See here, you have the gyro here. This gyro rotate clockwise direction. So 90 degree from this point, okay. Uh, so we apply force here, 90 degree is this point. So this is the one that will move. So, precession always acted 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. It cannot be here because the direction of rotation is here. Okay. So, this precession also depends on the three factors. Okay, the strength and the direction of the applied force. Normally, the higher the strength being applied, the higher the precession occurs. And then, the moment of initial. Normally, the higher the moment uh, initial of the rotor, the lower the precession and also the angular velocity 
the higher the angular velocity, eh, the rotational force here, higher the angular velocity, the lower the precession. Okay, so precession, okay, uh, also can occur on the gimbal, not only at the rotor side, but also at the gimbal. So if we apply force here, okay, 90 degree, you normally when applied to inner gimbal, the one that precise is the outer gimbal. So we apply force here, uh, 90 degree to its uh, is this point okay. so here the change in the di uh, direction takes place not in line with the force but always 90 degree away in the direction of rotation okay uh, this is the uh, unwanted condition when you occur in gyro okay. only this is in uh, roto must have roto inner and outer gimbal okay this both inner gimbal and outer gimbal must be 90 degree towards his up here, each other. But uh, there's a condition where the uh, inner and outer gimbal is locked or aligned. This is what we call it gimbal lock. This occurred especially when aircraft uh, rolling or pitching, uh, when aircraft having severe rolling and also pitching. And then you need to know the degree of freedom. Okay, the movement of the gyro, okay, it can move towards uh, its uh, own axis, we call it spin, spin on its own axis, normally x axis, eh? and then uh, here on its vertical axis, this is steering point, okay, vertical axis, and then also tilting on its horizontal axis. Okay. This one just to show you the roto, okay, the gyro normally consists of roto, normally this, this is the spin axis, and then the inner and also the outer gimbal. So normally, uh, gimbal lock uh, occur uh, when we have uh, higher pitch movement. Eh? Normally, we restrict uh, pitch movement up to 85 degree. Okay, uh, or else gimbal lock will occur. So this is several indication. Okay, uh, this is the uh, attitude indicator. So you must be able to recognize okay which is climbing, which is climbing, which is right turn. of aircraft and the horizon bar. Normally when it is in nature of aircraft, eh, yeah, it is high, uh, higher uh, up or above. Uh, the horizon bar means the aircraft is uh, climbing. So this wing in level, so we call level climbing. So when it is in line with the bar, we call it straight and level flight. Eh. And this one is a level descent because the aircraft is below the horizon bar okay. and uh, last one okay uh, last slide for today is name given to gyro okay only uh, it depends on the spin uh, axis of spin so if i open up this this is heading indicator you open up uh, inside uh, this uh, horizontal gyro you will see the axis of spin is Horizontal, that's why we call it horizontal gyro and normally used to control heading. So, this is this heading indicator. Okay, um, next is vertical gyro. Okay, normally vertical gyro used in attitude indicator. So, this is attitude indicator. Okay, uh, this attitude provides aircraft pitch. So, this is pitch. Okay, this is indication for pitch and also rolling. Okay, so if we open up this indicator. We see the gyro uh, axis of spin is vertical and last one is the turn and bank indicator okay, to indicate, uh, indicate the aircraft turn turn to the left turn to the right eh? and also the condition of the turn if the aircraft uh, turn to the left let's say left here this ball okay this one is turn this one is or bank we call this indication as a uh, inclinometer so when aircraft turn to the left, this ball must be in center. Okay, if this ball move outside uh, this center, the aircraft might be in a slip or skip condition. So this uh, indicator turn and bank use red gyro. Okay, so inside this uh, red gyro, we have the gyro that uh, axis of spin is horizontal. Okay, so by next week, I'll show you the gyro. We will open up this indicator, we will see uh, what's inside uh, this indicator. So, uh, we will see uh, 
system of total between horizontal, vertical and also the pitch angle. Okay, uh, so I uh, we end the class of the lecture uh, uh, for today. So inshallah we proceed next week with next uh, topics. So thank you and assalamualaikum.